<laughs> Hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work on my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And on today's video I'm planning to work on my frame. I'm gonna try to paint it. I'm gonna prevent it from getting it more rusted. As you probably saw in any previous my videos whenever I work on my truck, all my frame, it's not extremely rusty, but it's rusty in the front and in the back. So I was looking at different products, different options, what to do, just clean it, paint it with a primer and then just with black paint and all kinds of different options. Some stuff works, some stuff doesn't work. And then what I actually did, I contacted this company Cosmoline and I asked them if they could send me some paint to try out uh, because this paint is kind of expensive and I currently don't really have budget for it. And luckily enough, even though they don't send out free samples or anything, they, I guess they maybe saw my videos because I sent them the link. Maybe they felt bad for me. <laughs> Anyways, they were kind enough to send me a few cans of paint. They actually sent me three cans of black paint. It's not really paint, it's a rust preventive protective wax coating, so that's even better. Unlike conventional paint, it might flake and might break and might crack but this shouldn't and this one is black whenever it dries it turns black so they sent me three new ones uh they sent me three older ones i guess this was just on a shelf as a example but it should work anyways and they sent me one of these cans the heavy formula which is basically the same the only difference whenever this one dries it turns black but this one is somewhat translucent with maybe a little green tint so this one i can use paint underneath of the frame or underneath of the body this is not a sponsored video not really i'm just gonna paint it use it i'm planning to use this product and see how this is gonna perform during the winter and we're gonna see actual results in the summer because they put a lot of salt here during the winter so everything gets rusted right away i got my cv axles with the titan swap they were brand new but after just one winter, as you can see over there and over there, they got rusty like they were been there for ages. So I really don't like that. <laughs> so my plan is to lift up the truck, put it on the jack stands, take off all the tires, take off the skid plates, wash it underneath one more time. And then I'm going to be working on rust. I'm going to try to wire brush all the rust that I can for the most part. It's recommended to remove as much as possible. And moreover, it's recommended to remove any grease so the surface is dry. So I'm going to try to do my best to prepare for that. And then I'm going to start spraying. Oh, oh praying. <laughs> then I'm going to spray paint all of it. Uh, not going to record much of it because I don't want to get a camera all covered in paint. I'm actually gonna wear some clothes that I'm planning to throw away anyways because as I'm crawling under I'm gonna get a lot of oil spray on me so it's very important to use gloves protective eyewear mask or even better to use some hoodie to cover your hair and everything you don't want to get any of this stuff on yourself so this is the plan and actually it's gonna be a good time to rotate my tires I'm gonna mark them all where they were and as I'm gonna be putting them back I'm gonna rotate them so without further ado gonna lift up the truck put it on the jack stands gonna clean it take off my skid plates and gonna start working on that rust trying to remove as much as possible so this is how currently the the rear of my truck looks like honestly I don't know how much of it I can send how much of this I can paint and how much of it I can save <laughs> but I'll do my best I'll do my best and we'll see what happens. So now I'm gonna work on the back over here. Gonna mask off what I can and gonna try to with the wire brush just clean up as much as I can. It's probably not gonna be perfect, but hopefully it's still gonna be better than nothing. And then I'm gonna be moving forward, cleaning, brushing everything I can over there, masking off and just preparing it to be painted. All right, so all the tires are off. The truck is on the jack stands. I really hope all of those jack stands will hold it and none of them break. That would be nice. Uh, before I took the tires off, I shook the car, make sure it doesn't fall or anything. So now I'm gonna try to wash it one more time. I already took off uh, all the tires. I took the back plastic over here off. And surprisingly, in the back, 
not too bad. Just gonna clean it, power wash it. And yeah, then I have to wait for it to dry. And then I'm gonna work on the rust again. So I just finished power washing it all underneath, all under carriage and everything, what I'm planning to paint. And now I'm just gonna have to wait for it to dry. Then I'm gonna send it off again. Then I have to clean it again. And then it's gonna be ready to be painted. All right, so while the truck is drying, I believe I masked off everything that I wanna protect, not to get the paint over it. Now I just still have to wait for it to dry and then start sending it. So this is pretty much how my front looks. Um, before I send it off, try to grind that rust off. And for that, I'm gonna use this cordless drill with just one inch wire wheel. I can use bigger one, but I feel like one inch is gonna be more than enough. And there's a lot of tight spots over here that the bigger wheel is not gonna do anything there. So, and I feel like with this one, I can control it better. So I'm gonna work on the front now, grind it all off to a certain degree. And then once I grind all the rust off, I'm gonna think I have to power wash it again real quick because a lot of rust just keeps falling down so to clean it off. All right, so it's not too bad. For the most part, it's just surface rust. Uh, as I'm sending everything off over here, the only issue here I really, really hate looking at it, these bump stops. They look horrible. They look very horrible. So now what I'm thinking to do, I'm actually gonna take them off. I'm gonna take them off so I can send this properly and paint it. And in this uh, few days that I'm working on it, I'm gonna order a new bump stops and I'm gonna replace it. By the time I'm done with painting and assembling and everything back together, I should hopefully get a new bump stops and I'm gonna install them in the back. So that's pretty good as well. Okay guys, I think I sent it off pretty good. Maybe it's not pretty good, but this is the best I could. Like most of it is just a surface rust, to be honest. Uh, the worst parts are like just over here. Now, before it gets dark, gonna power wash it one more time to wash off all the rust shavings, all the rust and dirt that I threw in there <laughs> by cleaning it up. So it can dry overnight until tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning, gonna start painting. And over here on the frame by that gas tank, I have this pretty bad spot actually. So I think since I'm working on a frame restoration, I think I'm gonna, to prevent this spreading anymore, I'm gonna send this off. And I don't have this paint or anything. I'm gonna mask this off and I'm gonna paint with black paint over here, the whole line over here. I mean, it's still better to have slightly off something there different color instead of rust going all the way across later on i'm gonna figure out how i'm gonna match paint or something but at least i can stop this rust spreading and very common issue with exteriors on the rear door where this rubber is look gonna peel this off look at all this horrible rust this part is not even necessary it just traps moisture dirt and rust and that creates rust in there so i'm gonna take this off I'm gonna send this all off as well and gonna paint this black. So if you have exterra, open your rear doors and check this underneath this plastic and just throw them away. And this is the passenger side rear. If I take this off, doesn't wanna come out, but look, it just creates rust in there. We don't want that, we don't need that. Look, look at this, wow. This is pretty bad. So I'm gonna send this all off as well and paint this black. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of rust in there. So I'm not gonna go too crazy. Just gonna max this off and I'm gonna paint with a rust reformer and then just with a black paint. I know it's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna get the job done. I'm not gonna try to rebuild this body or anything. It's gonna be fine. That might be for some other day maybe or something but for now just gonna finish up cleaning this up make sure there is no sharp edges and that's it all right so it's all sent off now I'm gonna do another power wash to wash off all the dust all the rust dust <laughs> to keep it clean and let it dry until tomorrow morning and tomorrow we're gonna start painting okay guys so I just painted the sides with a rust reformer gonna let it dry 
I know it's not perfect, but it's still gonna be better than it used to be. Now this line over here, I'm planning to paint it all black. Um, still better than... Better to have some mismatch of paint there than the rust continuing over. So I'm gonna let it dry. And the remaining I'm just gonna paint with a regular black paint. Maybe gloss or semi-gloss. And this one is just gonna be like that. We'll see how that's gonna work out. Alright, let's take a look at this one more time before I paint it. So this is how it looks. On both sides. Underneath. And of course the back. So that's how it looks. Hopefully by the end of this video it's gonna look somewhat better. Okay. Okay guys, so I shook the can for a good two minutes and gotta make sure you wear protective eyewear, a mask, gloves and whatever clothes you might want to throw off. So I'm not gonna record much whenever I'm under a truck. I don't want any spray to get on the camera. So I'm just gonna start over here and then I'm just gonna show you guys the result, how it looks. So, but this should be pretty much straightforward, hopefully. So, let's go. I <laughs> think something like this. Hopefully it's gonna be all right. But already it looks much, much better. Hopefully I'm not applying too much of it. So it doesn't run too much, but yeah. All right, let me continue and I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right guys, the first layer is applied all on the frame. Just gonna let it dry. Maybe in some spots I put it too heavy and it run down a little bit. Again, I'm very bad at painting, but this for the frame, it's, it's no big deal. I also took off both of this uh, bump stop. Actually, all four bolts broke, but just look at this. This is not good anyways. So this is probably gonna be a different video. I'm gonna work on this later. I'm gonna have to drill those bolts out, cut them out and use new bolts anyways. This is gonna be in a different video, I guess. Today, let's just focus on painting. So while everything is drying, I actually went and I filled this. There was a big holes in there. So I filled it up with a body filler. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm not going for a perfection. Just to make it slightly better. So once this dry, I'm gonna send this off and I'm gonna paint this strip. It's gonna be a whole black strip over here. All right, and both coats are done and it's all dry, it's all done. So let's take a closer look at it. I know I have some running over there. Uh, from the top I probably sprayed too much, but it's okay. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but neither am I, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, I think it came out pretty good. And the fact that I did it myself, I didn't take it to any shop or anything, I think it's okay. So this is how the rear looks. Again, I sprayed a little bit extra there, I guess, and... I sprayed the leaf springs as well, there was just some leftovers. And this is how the back looks. I had some overspray on, on top of the truck, but I didn't really care about that much. I think that's all fine. And I rebuilt my rear axle. <laughs> it's brand new now. Painted it as well. I think it looks better than it, the way it was all rusted out. So some put in skid plates underneath now back. Just decided to show you guys over here and I painted underneath crossbars over here I even painted that uh, we'll see how long it's gonna take before it all it comes off hopefully it doesn't come off and maybe with the Sun better lighting over here this how the front looks like I said I tried to do my best But I think it's much, much better than it used to be be before. Now that all the tires are off, it's a perfect time to do the tire rotation. So, depending on what kind of truck or car you have, it's a different uh, tire rotation. But for me, since I have a rear wheel drive and a four wheel drive, my rear tire is gonna go to the front and my front tire is gonna crisscross, gonna go in the back. 
so my driver front is gonna go passenger rear and my passenger front gonna go driver rear I'm gonna put a diagram on the screen somewhere so you guys can see so now I can put my tires back on and I can lower the truck right all the tires back on so now we can safely lower down the truck and bolt the lug nuts to specs which is a hundred pound full of torque and we're done and we successfully did our tire rotation it's recommended to do the tire rotation between five to seven thousand miles i was pretty much my due time to do the tire rotation so might as well do it right now <laughs> okay guys the frame is done it's dry it's painted and it looks way way better than it was before like i said i don't know how much is gonna help how long it's gonna last only will time show and with me going off-road getting it covered in mud i don't know if that's gonna affect it or not but we'll see like i said it's still better than nothing it's still better than it was just all rusty before so hopefully by the spring it's still gonna be somewhat the same color <laughs> but in the spring i'm gonna make another video another update so if you decide to use this product just make sure to wear some kind of suit or some old clothes that you're gonna throw away because it gets everywhere even though i was wearing a mask and a and protective eyewear and everything i still got sprayed leaving on my face on my hands even though i was wearing gloves and the clothes it's all gonna go into the garbage and of course i did my tire rotation as well so that was a good time to do it now for the back part over there and it's actually been a few weeks <laughs> that this is how the side looks now uh it's not the best but it's not the worst i feel like i stopped most of the rust I might have some rust popping out over here so I might have to work with this more but still this is gonna be much better from rather than what I had there before so I hope this video might help you guys as well in case you want to refresh your frame and uh, all the parts in there this paint seems to be doing okay in case you're wondering what to use maybe you're gonna use something else maybe using something else if that's so please leave in the comments what are you guys using is it just regular paint spray or something else that i don't know oh so on this note i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you might find it helpful and as always until next time everybody bye